Hey guys, what's up? Public here back with another video, and today we have kind of a special, different video on the channel. I know I typically cover Shadow Priest content, but today Blizzard has uh, given myself and the Priest Discord early access to the Oracle Hero talent tree as like a mock-up version. So this is actually the tree shared between Holy and Dis Priest, so this is not a tree that Shadow has access to. Uh, but I did still wanted to cover on the channel because I think it's interesting and gives us kind of an idea of where they're kind of going with these trees. It also can kind of tell you what's probably not going to be in the other two trees that Shadow will have access to. Uh, so let's dive in. This is the Oracle Down tree. All right, so this is literally my first time looking at this. Um, this is kind of my live reaction to what's on this tree. Uh, so I know very little about kind of this, just kind of what I've just glanced seeing the image for the first time. Um, and, you know, I'm definitely not, just for a little bit of background, I do mostly cover... Obviously, Shadow Priest on this channel, but I, you know, I consider myself a Priest main. Uh, just about every raid tier in Mythic, I end up healing at least a couple fights. Um, in the past, it's been Holy, some Discipline, all that kind of stuff. So I have some context here. I used to main healer a long, long time ago as well. Um, so as much as possible, I'm going to try to give that lens uh, from this. But again, this is just kind of my first reaction to things. So first up, for the Oracle Tree, the kind of caps, the, the top node here is premonition it looks like this is probably a renamed version of a spell i think that they already have as a pvp talent maybe so this replaces power infusion and it's now a one minute cooldown so down from two minutes with which is what power infusion is um it says divine the future gain access to a spell that gives you an advantage against your fate and it has three choices so there's solace which uh, increases your target's healing received so something you'd put on a tank or someone you want to pump with healing um Insight gives your target's magic damage dealt increased, and Glory, which is physical damage dealt. So this is basically like priority healing target, like a tank. Magic damage dealt, so this is like a ranged DPS, and then Glory physical damage dealt by 10% for 10 seconds. So right off the bat, it looks like they're trying to kind of go down the road of like a support spec healer with this talent tree, which kind of makes sense with Oracle. It's kind of like you're you know going to see the future or whatever else it is, so... Not super surprising there. Um, so let's keep reading before I talk too much about this. So this kind of branches on. And keep in mind, everyone gets this. Um, unless it's a choice node, you get all of this. So next up, you'll eventually get preventative measures, which increases the damage absorbed by power word shield and healing done by prayer of mending. Um, okay, so right off the bat, it's kind of weird. Like it doesn't really have anything to do with this. So this is just like I just have flat modifiers to shield and prayer of mending, I guess. Which is also kind of interesting. Obviously, like, Power Word Shield is meant for Disc and Prayer Mending is meant for Holy, but nothing's stopping the others from casting those spells. Um, and then you have Preemptive Care, which increases the duration of Atonement by one second and increases the duration of Renew by three seconds. I mean, one second Atonement isn't anything to scoff at, but, I mean, I don't know if it's going to change too much of what you want to do. Uh, the three seconds Renew is also kind of interesting, especially with, like, Salve and stuff like that. Hey guys, this is Future Public Back. There was actually a change made to the tree uh, before I ended up re releasing the video. Um, they actually changed Waste No Time, so that's why I look different. So, Waste No Time. Premonition causes your next Power Word Radiance, Heal, or Prayer of Healing to be instant cast and cost 15% less mana. Instead of Prayer of Healing, you used to say Prayer of Mending, which didn't make sense. So, Prayer of Healing, much, much more powerful a spell, I think. So, yeah, I still think this has somewhat of a... A lean towards more value on discipline with the you know the instant cast radiance and the kind of season two set bonus that they like using um but i still think this will be fine i think holy will will definitely like this um you don't cast this super often so you know premonition is just like a every one minute kind of a thing so i'm not sure if just giving it 15 percent less mana is enough um, but if you compare this to miraculous recovery which reduces the cooldown of powered life and you can use it on targets um, below 50% health instead of the old execute threshold. I do think both these are kind of small. Um, I'd probably end up taking waste no time, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, back to old public. Uh, then we go to assured safety. Power word shield, uh, misspell, <laughs> applies one stack of prayer of mending to your target. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty small throughput wise. Um, I wonder if like as a disc priest and like a rapture ramp, that like small amount of healing is nice. Or Prayer of Mending, cast a power would shield to your target at 20%. Okay, so they're kind of like, it's like intending that Holy and Disc are kind of sharing a little bit of these two spells, I guess, which is interesting. Um, okay, down this middle section, another choice node. You either get Prompt Deliverance, which reduces the cooldown of Purify by two seconds. So that's kind of interesting in that they're like, you want to be like the Dispel expert. 
I'm pretty sure most people in the game share the same uh, dispel cooldown, so it's interesting that they're kind of giving that here. Um, or when an ally walks through your angelic feather, you are also granted 100% of its effect. So this is basically Twins of the Sun Priestess, but for angelic feathers. That's kind of interesting. I think most, if not all, priest players that play with angelic feather have it macroed to always cast on themselves. Uh, so I guess this is kind of neat. You're kind of support specking a movement ability as well. Um, it's kind of like if you're taking this, there's no reason to ever only give it to yourself. You should always cast it at least out in the open, I think, or on top of someone, right? Um, kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. So Pain's Aggression reduces damage taken by an additional 10%. It's kind of crazy. And Guardian Spirit lasts an additional 2 seconds. Okay, so for Foreseen Circumstances definitely seems way better for Disc than it is for Holy. I think Guardian Spirit lasting an additional 2 seconds. I can't really see why that would be super relevant. Obviously, it could save someone's life if you cast it like a little too early. Or, you know, the, the healing increase could be better on certain things. I don't know. I guess Guardian Spirit already kind of has niche use cases. But yeah, Pain's Up is already like 40% DR, I think. So this would go up to 50%. That's massive. Uh, that's a huge... That's a huge buff, especially with Disc having all the extra Pain Suppression talents. It's huge. Okay, next up we have Grand Reveal. When your Power Word Shield is fully absorbed, or your Prayer of Mending just heals straight up, you gain a stack of Grand Reveal. At 150 sacks, gain an additional charge of Premonition, which is the guy that replaces Power Infusion up here. Um, okay, this is kind of interesting. I think 150 sacks, does this sound like a lot? I think... Power Word Shield getting fully absorbed, I, depending on the fight, I don't feel like that's going to happen a ton. Um, I, although you are getting, like with Assured Safety, you are getting like extra ones. So especially this like Prayer of Mending casting one at 20% effectiveness. So like that one will get burst quite quickly. Um, the same thing with like Power Word Shield applying Prayer of Mending. So, you know, both, stacks, both specs will be able to stack this from both abilities with these spells. Although, I don't know, I think it's hard to, to know, like, 150 sacks, that feels like quite quite a lot, but maybe with Assured Safety, it's okay. Okay, next choice node, you, so you can reduce the cooldown of Premonition by 10 seconds, so that goes from a 60 second cooldown to a 50 second cooldown, um, or you can now trigger the Brilliance and Urgency effects. So I don't know, so I guess this kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier, so with Premonition... Because the question is, how exactly does this work? Does it, like, cycle through it like Blessing of the Seasons? Um, where, like, you know, like, what's coming on what order? Or I wonder if, like, you you have the ability and it shows Solus. So the next time you use it, it's going to be Solus. And then when you use it, you just randomly get another one of these effects for the next use. Or something like that. It's probably going to be kind of like a deck of cards system or some kind of RNG. So you could, like, roll the same thing twice, maybe. And I'm wondering, it looks like these would be two additional ones. So you have Brilliance, which re restores 5% of your target's mana, or Urgency, which increases your target's haste by 12% for 10 seconds. So this is worse than Power Infusion, although not by like a ton. So Power Infusion right now is 20% haste for 15 seconds. So, and this does, obviously, Premonition up here replaces Power Infusion. Um, so if you still want that effect, that's going to be there. Um... So yeah, I guess there's like a, a small small difference there. I do expect though, the one thing they haven't shown us with this is what our class tree is going to look like. So I'm guessing Power Infusion is probably still in the class tree and probably... I mean, the question is, is Twins of the Sun Priestess still there as well? If Twins is still there, well, that means any of these that you cast, I'm assuming, would also go back to yourself when cast on an ally. So meaning every time you give someone Solus, you also get Solus. Um, although, you know, glory doesn't do anything for, for you as a priest. Um, so yeah, interesting to see how this will work out. So yeah, I guess you get a 10 second CDR or you get two extra options. Although, you know, depending on what you're doing, if you don't like the mana or like, let's say you're inside of mythic plus, right. And you don't think you need the extra mana and you're playing with specs that don't scale well with haste Well, playing this one probably doesn't make any sense. Cause that means you're probably going to RNG getting these less often, which are the ones you'd probably want more. Um, so yeah, interesting. I, I don't mind the choice. I think I kind of see the idea of it, although I'd like to know exactly how Premonition cycles through buffs or whatever you want to call them. Okay, and then the last choice known to choose is Divine Providence, which is increases the duration of your Premonition effects by two seconds. 
So, you know, it'd be 12% haste for 12 seconds. Um, obviously, it looks like duration doesn't apply to everything, right? Like, this one is just restore 5% of your target's mana. Although, that could be... I wonder if it's, like, a buff where it would tick over time and be maybe you get, like, 6% mana with this or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but the rest of these are buffs, though. It's just... Brilliance is not one. And then, Fatebender. Premonition's effect is increased by 30%. If the divine spell is different than the previous premonition. So yeah, this is again, I don't quite know how this works and how it's going to cycle through things. Is this like completely out of your control of like what the game decides to roll? Or is there some way to kind of game what the next one's going to be? So I guess we'll have to find out what that's like. And then the final thing is clairvoyance. Premonition has a low chance to grant you clairvoyance, which grants your target and two nearby allies all the effects of premonition at 100% effectiveness. Okay, so... Again, we're not quite sure if Twins is still in the game, because assuming if you baseline, when you cast uh, Premonition, you and the person you cast it on get it. This is saying you also have a chance, a low chance, to also give two other people that. So every cast of Premonition could go on up to four people, is what this, including yourself, uh, which is kind of wild. And you, again, you always get this. So, so yeah, that's kind of the... The Oracle spec tree, or the hero class tree in a nutshell. Wow, this is really crazy. All right, let's kind of talk about some other kind of deep dive stuff on like what this means. All right, so overall thoughts on the tree. I think, I don't know, I, I'd like to see a bit more about how Premonition works. But basically this is turning Disc and Holy Priest into kind of like a pseudo support spec. Obviously they're still focused on healing for sure. But this is definitely putting a lot of stuff around here, around Premonition. Especially like this left side kind of fueling extra charges of premonition um kind of doing a bit more on the kind of support spec side of things so yeah this will be the first healer i guess to get this kind of treatment because even though preservation is attached to augmentation it doesn't have nearly like the the same kind of feel as a support spec um and yeah they're kind of doubling down on this so i'm curious to see the reactions from people in the community i think my gut is that i'm not super thrilled about this i know a lot of people enjoy handing out buffs to other people but i do wonder like the effect this is going to have on the game in general and just kind of how it feels today. Um, and I think really the question is going to be how much agency does the player have over premonition? Like, I think if there's a certain amount of control over this, it could be fun to play with. Although if it's something like blessing of seasons or completely RNG out of the player's hands, I could see it be kind of being more annoying than it is fun. Um, so I wonder how they're going to tackle that. And then I think, yeah, just from like a throughput perspective, I think the question is probably going to be for Holy and Disc, like what is this comparing against, right? Like Holy and Disc are both going to have other trees that are specifically shared with Shadow uh, because we're still missing the Holy and Shadow tree and the Disc and Shadow tree. I'm guessing those trees are probably going to be focused on throughput choices, whereas for the most part, there's not a whole lot of throughput in this tree. There's a little bit here with like atonement increased, renew duration increased, you know, a little bit of healing on Powered Shield and Prayer of Mending. But for the most part, you know, this isn't going to be a massive, massive increase. I think it definitely feels like they're balancing the power of this hero tree inside of the buffs granted by Premonition, both to who you're giving it to and yourself. Um, being on a one minute cooldown is pretty interesting, though. You definitely, you'll be pressing this a lot, especially if you get, you know, procs with Grand Reveal. Um, you know, or you, you decide to take reduced cooldown premonition by 10 seconds. Um, I do still think this choice node could use some help or clarity around how exactly that works, especially the CDR. I think like handing out buffs every 50 seconds is just going to be weird to play with. Like so many people are on like one, like minute timers, whether it's like minute, two minute, three minute, that kind of thing. So getting like a CDR at 50 seconds is going to be kind of weird because it's like, well, why would you use something that increases someone's damage dealt if if you, you literally just wait 10 seconds later, they'd get more value out of it. So, yeah, the CD, this choice note in particular feels kind of weird. Um, I think we need to know a bit more about this. So, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is the first tree that's been released. Uh, by the time this video is up, I'm sure there'll be a Wildhead article I'll have linked in the description below. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know it's not a, a Shadow Priest tree, but it does kind of mean... It's unlikely that Shadow's trees will have anything to do with power infusion. Um, could potentially mean we'll see changes to Twins of the Sun Priestess as well. So that's all we have in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.